Hi, my name is Shoaib Khan and the topic of my presentation is databases for social media applications. We, we all are uh, familiar with social media applications like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Reddit and, and there are tons of other social media applications out there and we spend a lot of time, uh, average, average uh, computer users uh, use a, a significant amount of time on these social media sites uh, but uh, usually uh, most of us do not uh, uh, do not uh, recognize that there is a significant amount of work going on uh, uh, on the back of the on the back of the network all we see is on the on the on our cell phone how the uh, application looks like but once you send a message for example through facebook it actually travels through the air and goes to the cell tower your nearest uh, cellular network tower and then from there it it goes to the network and it uh, finally arrives at some uh, at some server uh, and it's usually stored in a database uh, and when you want to get your profile update from from the server the server first uh, uh, checks out on the on the database and it gives back all the information through the network to your uh, nearest cell site and then it comes to your uh, mobile phone so it looks like uh, this a lot of work is going on in the in the back end uh, usually it's called a back end because you don't see it it's on on the back on the back side of the network uh, and databases play a very significant role in this game uh, now for social media applications uh, database design is actually a uh, big concern nowadays because these social media applications have uh, billions of users uh, it has started from millions and now uh, uh, some of them uh, have reached the level of billion users uh, and uh, these statistics show that uh, in Facebook at least it has reached uh, uh, close to billion users, unique monthly uh, users. Uh, for Twitter, it's a quarter million or so. LinkedIn, uh, around the same. Uh, and for other other applications, also there are uh, hundreds of millions. Uh, what it means for for all these applications is that they are sending out huge amounts of data to the network, and the network. Uh, the server and the and the database has to deal with this amount of data and the databases in the in the traditional database systems uh, which is called uh, uh, relational database systems they were not actually ready for this kind of data uh, they they used to handle uh, like thousands of users or uh, probably at most millions of users uh, uh, but in the in the range of billions of users, they have never handled this kind of uh, situation before. So it has become uh, uh, quite challenging to handle this kind of data. Now, the traditional uh, database systems were table-based, uh, quite like uh, Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the difference is the the structure of the data is very very defined. Uh, and they are also very consistent and reliable. Now, these are the the, the advantages also of the data, uh, traditional database system. They are highly consistent, highly highly reliable. But the problem is, especially for social media applications with huge amounts of data, they are non-scalable. They they cannot uh, grow with the data. Uh, uh, and also, uh, they they are quite inflexible because you have to structure your data in a certain way. Uh, if the data changes, it's very difficult to deal with this kind of changes. Uh, now, 
there is a new kind of database uh, in the last few years these are called non-SQL databases uh, that means that they do not follow the structured uh, way of uh, databases are have been constructed so far uh, SQL stands for structured query language uh, and now the the advantage of using this kind of database is they are highly scalable uh, you can start with millions of uh, thousands of users for say and then uh, start using more and more uh, devices in the databases and as the demand of your user grows you can keep adding those new kind of devices and so it, it, it's quite scalable uh, even to the to the range of billions of users uh, and also their structure is very flexible you do not have to define your your database in uh, in a rigid way uh, you can define any way you want and you can change the structure of the database uh, and and also they are they are very very uh, very highly available systems because you can use many different servers uh, for the same application uh, and e if one of the servers is down another server can take care of the, the whole system so they, they have become very popular for this kind of reasons now the problem of course is they are not uh, consistent always uh, what it means is uh, for example for social media application for Facebook if you send a, send out a message uh, to, a, to a friend of yours he may get it a few seconds later uh, well this may not sound a big problem but for financial transactions this kind of situations has has to be avoided uh, but for financial kind of uh, situations so the no SQL databases are not a good fit but for social media applications they uh, well this this issue is not a big deal so so for, for databases for social media applications they seem to be going towards no SQL databases where they are highly scalable and they are very very available uh, and well they, they can deal with large amount of data very easily so in conclusion uh, the, the no SQL database is a natural fit for social media apps and there is a clear trend that we are seeing uh, in in recent years that the social media companies are switching to uh, NoSQL databases and actually not only uh, social media applications but also other other internet based applications uh, they are switching to this kind of databases uh, well uh, these are uh, the the references that I've used in the Final presentation so I've also included in this presentation so that concludes my presentation thank you very much for uh, for listening uh, bye